Sasha von Network News. So come over here at the Republica 2011 conference in Berlin. And we are over here at the HP booth. And I think you guys are familiar with this. That's a new HP touchpad, a 9.7 inch uh, webOS tablet. 1024 by 768 is the resolution, 1 gigabyte of RAM. I think there will be different versions of 16 gigabyte of flash memory, 32 gigabyte uh, memory. And it's running on the new dual core Snapdragon uh, platform from Qualcomm. That means with the new Adreno 220 GPU. And as we know already, uh, during the benchmarks over at Anantech.com, it was all over the NVIDIA Tegra 2 platform in terms of performance. Let's take a quick look around the system. Um, there's a small little micro USB over here. Can you see that? And we have, that looks to me like a volume control over here on the top. That's the power button, and that's a check for your headset. Besides that, stereo speakers over here on the bottom. There's a camera here in the front. As you can tell, it's not recharged. And I'm kind of searching for a camera on the back that I can't find right now. So obviously it seems that there's only a front camera. Unfortunately, we can't get our hands on a running system right now. But we're definitely going to do uh, a walkthrough with an HP representative over here. Uh, if you, I would compare this to the iPad uh, 2, which kind of makes sense because it's also using a 9.7 inch display with the same resolution. And, you know, let's take a quick look in terms of size. Well, obviously the iPad 2 is a little bit smaller, or let's say thinner. And in general, I would say when it comes to the build quality and the way you can hold it, I would definitely prefer the touch button. It has very round edges, it's easier to hold, while the iPad is very thin on the side and it's kind of sharp, even though there's already um, some, some, some real improvement compared to the first generation of the iPad. So, uh, when can we expect the HP touchpad to come to the market? I think uh, it's starting this summer and uh, I have no clue about the pricing. It's definitely a tablet to take a look at, especially with the synergies they're building all over the different webOS devices. That's the new HP touchpad. I'm Sasha for NetworkNews.com. Thanks for watching.